Well, as many people get ready to hit the beach this holiday weekend, a series of shark attacks hundreds of miles away may have some swimmers on edge. As we first reported yesterday, Andrew Costello of Wareham, Massachusetts, is recovering after being bitten by a shark off North Carolina's Outer Banks, the 10th shark attack in the Carolinas this year. Now, today we caught up with a local expert for his take on the string of attacks and what it means for our area. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live now with local coverage. Well, Shannon, there is no denying that there has been an increase in the number of shark attacks off the Carolina coast this year. But locally, off New England waters, it's exceedingly rare to see a shark attack. And a local shark expert I spoke with today says it'll likely stay that way. The Outer Banks are making national headlines after another shark attack in a matter of weeks. The most recent, a Massachusetts man was bitten by a shark in North Carolina. That makes seven on this shoreline this year, three in a week. Seven attacks over the course of three or four weeks is, is a pretty high number. Fisheries biologist Greg Skomal has been studying sharks for 30 years in southern New England. I asked him why there's been a recent uptick in attacks down south. It tells us that there's some conditions that have set up where the sharks are obviously very close to shore, setting up close to shore over a very broad area, um, namely the North Carolina region and uh, feeding on something where, where humans are basically walking into the water. Skomo calls it alarming, but says it should have little to no impact on sharks in southern New England. The species that are implicated in the attacks down south don't even come this far north. So there's it, no reason to believe that anything's going to happen um, up here because of what's going on down there. There's no reason at all folks in Rhode Island or Massachusetts, New England, southern New England, to, should be concerned about this, you know. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence, I asked Gomel what swimmers should know and what they should do to make sure they stay safe in local waters. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.